to yet another WordPress tutorial. This one's using Divi, and we're gonna create a global footer. So, in the last video that I did, we just added a home page. So now you can see we've only got a home page, and we've got this header, and it's the default Divi header. And if we scroll all the way down, we can see that we just have a default footer as well, which isn't really professional. So what we wanna do is we wanna create a footer uh, and we wanna create this footer site-wide. So that means that it'll happen on all of our pages. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm actually gonna duplicate this tab just so I can keep a version of the site open and then also go to the dashboard. So we'll come in here and once we're in our dashboard, we'll go down to Dibby. We then go to Theme Builder, which is a second option. And this is kind of where you do like global modules sort of, uh, or globalization kind of things. So in here we can do things like, we can make all pages look like something, we can make the home page, we can make specific pages look like something. Um, we can, you know, we can style our posts, we can style um, our 404 page, etc. So this is a great tool uh, and should be utilized more. And I don't see it being utilized too much in the um, amateur Divi world, uh, but it saves a lot of time. So global header and global footer. So let's come in and we'll add a global footer and then we will click build global footer because we're not gonna add from library. All right, and then there aren't really any footers. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna build from scratch. And then my vision is basically to have the uh, address, email, and phone number on the left, and then on in the middle we'll have the logo, and on the right hand side we'll have like, you know the privacy policy or something. So let's do that. Now if we come in here, so we've split this into three, uh, and let's add our um, let's add our logo. So we're coming here and we're going to look for image, which is there. And we're going to select our image. You know what? We're going to select the one with the uh, sign. So we'll pop that one in. It's looking a little large, but we'll fix that in a second. And then we're going to come and add a text box, which is T for text box, isn't it? There we go. Um, and so we will say, one, two, three, Main Street, classic. And we'll say New New York, if I can have a type. Okay, and then uh, we will then say P is phone number, and we'll say 1300-555-555. And you know what? Make this bold. And then we'll say email, and it's going to be, um, uh, you know, accounts at my test site, testsite.com. Alrighty, so let's make that bold as well. And then, that's about it. We can add, you can add a fax, you can add whatever you'd like kind of thing. So now, uh, the best way to do it is to hyperlink these. So. In our text editor, in the visual component, we can just come up here and choose the link. So then we've got text to display and the link. And then for a telephone link, it is T-E-L, the phone number. And the easiest way to do it is to remove all spaces. And you can put a country code in front of that if you'd like. Um, for an email, it is mail to. And there are more complex ways to do a mail to. Um, you know, you can put a subject, etc., kind of thing, uh, but we're just going to leave it like that. So now we'll come back in two seconds to style that. On this side, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get a text box and we are going to say, um, I don't have the copywriting symbol, but let's just say, um, copyright 2020, my test site and then we'll have something along the lines of a privacy policy policy and then let's just put a space and then we'll say like terms and conditions or something like that 
And you know, you could link these to wherever. I'm just going to link them to nowhere. So you can do the same as that, uh, and you can, you know, we can fiddle around with that. So it's looking good, but we want to use some company colors. So we're going to come in here, excuse me. So we've got the row, and then we've got the section. So the section, we've only got one section so far. So we're going to come in here, and we'll give the background color. I'm going to use a gradient. So background, and then gradient. And then for the gradient, I'm going to use a gray. And then on this side, I'm going to use the same. And then you can just kind of fiddle around with it. We might go a little lighter. All right, so this is a little bit big here. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna go to the image and we're gonna go to sizing and we're gonna set a maximum height of let's say 100. See how that looks. Yeah, it could be a little bit bigger. So 125, perfect. And we can see it's off to the left a little bit. So going from content, we'll go design up the top and let's align it to the center. And you can go nuts. This is a, you know, it's like any other Divi module kind of thing. So, you know, we can add padding. We can see what it looks like in, in our tablet view. And we'll say the alignment's off. So we'll come into the tablet view and we'll say align like that, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, let's say that our text, we want it to be a little bit bigger. We want it to be 17. And let's have it white, why not? And then we'll say our link color, we also want it to be white. And then I'm just gonna get that, go to that text module, uh, copy module styles and paste module styles. And there you go. And now we might make the background just a touch darker. And let's see which way is the gradient going. Ooh. And maybe I like it radiating out of the text. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. So that's pretty much how to do it. So you come in here, you save it, and we need to exit, and we need to save changes. And now, if I go to this, perfect, there you go. Now we have our footer. Terms and conditions, the account, we've got the phone number, and I believe copyright. Yeah. It's copyright, not copyright. So we'll come back in and we'll change. It's been a long day. G H T, copyright. And we'll save that and it'll be updated. And boom, would you look at that? And then if I went to uh, create a new page and we get rid of that and we say about, and then I use the Divi Builder again and we just come into here. And what did we say we had? We had a hosting company. Company services page and about page. Here we go, use this layout. So we then get a company about page and we'll be able to see that it has the exact same footer. I scroll all the way down the bottom, we can see we've got that same footer and now that same footer is on every page. So that's how we're gonna create a global footer. A global header is the same way, but there are little more nuances with a header. Um, for this, you can add anything because it's a, you know, it's a Divi module. So we could create another section with, I don't know how many that is, that's six. And you can put, you know, you can put circle counters, you can put, um, you can put posts, you can put whatever you'd like. You can put a video, a video slider. Um, we can put 
button to go to another site kind of thing. Um, so we can put whatever we'd like and it's quite flexible. So now we can see that we have all of those, but we'll delete that. So that's how you style your footer. Any questions, leave a comment down below. Thank you.